What, what, what would be the kind of market uh, response if inflation for, let's say, just two months in a row does surprise to the upside relatively significantly? Is, is that enough of a trigger to, to lead to a, a big pullback or, or would that only be, uh, be, be a small pullback waiting until we see the Fed hike rates? I think we can live with higher real growth. If the economy does really well, I think the market can live with higher rates. If inflation is the reason rates go up, I think the effects are much more significant. I mean, I think you're going to see a significant correction in stock prices if inflation is a culprit. I mean, that's why people have stopped looking at growth numbers and looking at inflation numbers, because that is really the worry that markets have right now, is can we keep inflation under control? And if we cannot, then we have a real problem on our hands. So, so where, where do you want to be? And treasuries aren't really acting very safe right now. I mean, if you're going to stay in stocks, I mean, you go to the old uh, fallbacks when inflation goes up. Commodity stocks, you're probably going to go to consumer product companies, which have pricing power to pass the inflation on. But the reality is financial assets don't do well when inflation goes up. Stocks, bonds, I mean, even real estate is tied to stocks and bonds. That was our old fallback in the 1970s. So I, you know, I, I, I think there are really no safe places. You've got, to, you've got to accept the fact that some of the gains you've had, and that's really the benefit you have after a long bull market, is even if you lose money, you're not going back to where you were in 2010. You might be going back to where you were in 2018. And that's not a bad place to be. I think we just lose perspective because we've been in a bull market for so long. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.